Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis is defined as acute inflammation of the prior normal gland parenchyma which is usually reversible. Acute pancreatitis can occur due to a variety of causes some of which include biliary tract diseases and chronic alcohol consumption. All these etiological factors either cause arsenic cell damage or they lead to duct obstruction. Both arsenic cell damage and duct obstruction causes liberation and activation of the pancreatic enzymes. Liberation and activation of the pancreatic enzyme leads to the destructive changes in the pancreas. A patient of acute pancreatitis will complain of abdominal pain can have episodes of vomiting and also can have fever untreated cases of acute pancreatitis can lead to certain complications which can either be local sequelae such as a pancreatic pseudocyst or can lead to systemic complications such as pulmonary complications including ARDS or renal complications such as renal failure to confirm the diagnosis of acute pancreatitis your doctor would advise you to get some investigations done which can include assessment of the pancreatic enzyme levels x-ray of the abdomen an ultrasound of the abdomen a ct scan and a mri scan also your doctor can advise you some other investigations which can include magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography and an endoscopic ultrasound once the diagnosis of acute pancreatitis is established then its management is usually based on conservative treatment such as rehydration and prescribing analgesics for pain relief advanced cases may require surgical intervention so this was all about acute pancreatitis in brief here is the overview of what i have discussed if you think this video was helpful do like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you